don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Hey guys, so let's get into this situation with Tamar Braxton and her clout chasing fiance. And we know the story about them. They have broke up, they're back together. And then he ate Tommy Lee's groceries. And I don't have to say allegedly because this is what she said. And I'm just repeating what she said. So ultimately, um, Tamar and JR are saying that they are back together um, and they're on social media showing a ring. Frankly, I think Tamar has some kind of mental health issue that she needs to see somebody right away because sis you cannot be this blind and you cannot be this stupid you have sisters you have a brother you have a mom and you have a father so we are seeing that this man is using you for clout but you don't seem to think so now with the situation with Tamar Braxton and JR, you guys know, if you don't, let me share with you again. I do have a video, a few videos on my page with regards to this situation. When Tamar was homeless, because in fact, she was homeless because JR did reveal that to Tommy Lee. Um, he told Tommy that he threw Tamar out. And that is why we saw her with all the stuff in her car and someone had broke into her car. Now, Tamar, I'm sorry, Tommy Lee reveals that JR shared that with her. Um, Tommy Lee reveals that she shared with JR that she basically said hi to him because she knew that JR was Tamar's um, fiance and she knew that they had broken up. So she was actually trying to be funny. However, JR shared some very interesting um, information with Tommy about Tamar. And that is not before he ate her groceries. So how embarrassing um, for Tamar to be online sharing a ring of a man who broke up with her, threw her out, and then went to someone she was in a fight online fight with and ate her entire butt so let's get into this video y'all because guess what i'm gonna let tommy lee tell y'all in her own words got it but yep. they shaded your ass i learned a lot about you through those fucking comments oh they say not the louis jacket again oh he got five i didn't know any of that because i didn't care like that wasn't my angle it yeah. wasn't like to that really just, was... take your man like girl i don't want like I that don't was want... just to show yeah checkmate Yes. Okay, so you do the show. Now, did he eat your ass before that or after? Oh, after the show, it goes it goes crazier. So after the, after the game? After the game, he now takes me to a hookah spot. Ratchet! <laughs> Real ratchet. So I'm like, oh, this nigga with all the fuck shit. <laughs> but him to me and I to him is like, oh, we're not on that. We're not on that. Bitch, you're doing that. You took me to this lit. It's, it's us. It's culture. Hookah shop. So I'm just like, all right, we vibe and smoke a hookah. So I take a meeting. And then I sold like 10 packs too, because you know I got my own strand of weed. So like it was a good, a free trip to Atlanta and I made me some bread like doing my other shit. You get what I'm saying? So it was cool. But we go there and it was just like, I seen like who he is and I'm just kind of confused as to how she don't see it. I actually feel sorry. Because really for real, for real, Miss Girl, we don't have no beef. You know that. So if I catch some things, bitch, I'll give you, you get what I'm saying, the tea, because I don't want you to look stupid either because I know you don't dislike me. You're upset about something else that had nothing to do with me. You misread it wrong. You probably got punks in your ear telling you X, Y, Z. You will never be a... So in that video clip that you guys just saw, you heard basically Tommy stated that the man ate her groceries. Um, she was on a first date with him. Um, she indicated, and as I stated in a previous video that I have on my channel, you guys feel free to check it out. Tommy lives in LA. So in order for them two to hook up, obviously she would have to come to Atlanta. So he flew her out to Atlanta, um, got her a hotel room. Um, she talks about that. Um, she indicates that he really doesn't have money like that because he actually paid for her room in, in points, which I understand. Um, there's nothing wrong with having points, but if you're inviting somebody out, save the points for yourself. But anywho, he, um, Tommy talks about how JR basically 
talked about Tamar so bad, basically stated that he put her out. She was homeless. He stated to Tommy that when he put Tamar out, she was in fact homeless, which makes perfectly good sense. If you guys recall um, the video and everything that was circulating when someone had broken into Tamar's um, car and when they broken it, had broken into her car, she was actually at her mom's house. Well, that is because she was put out of JR's house and obviously she packed her car up with her things and now she's at her mom's house. So, um, you know, he stated to Tommy that Tamar was calling him all the time, trying to get back with him. It's just a bad situation, you know, when this guy is basically seems like he is cloud chasing. Um, Tommy pretty much called it out and said that she didn't understand how Tamar could not see because it was right in her face. And obviously she can see. Now, these two girls do not have a problem with each other. It is the man. Um, obviously, Tamar feels some sort of way because Tommy went on a date with him, but not only did she go on a date with him, it appears that somehow JR's face got attached and stuck inside of Tommy's butt. Um, you, you understand what I'm saying? So it is, you know, kind of weird that Tamar is back with this man, which it really shows that something is definitely wrong with Tamar. Girl, you are a Braxton. Your sister is Tony Braxton, and you running around here with a man with 99 kids that's going around eating random people butts. Um, so that's a problem. But in this next coming clip that I'm going to show y'all, uh, just, just watch it, and then we're going to come back for commentary because... I don't even want to speak on it. It's it's like two seconds. Y'all watch it and we'll come back to talk about it. I'm not going there. Now I'm about to tell you all the Woo! I'm about not going there. So basically Tamar and JR are on social media again, letting us know that they are re-engaged as if we even care. It seems like they were already engaged so they can just pick up where they left off. Um, you know, the only thing that has happened and has changed is that your fiance in a brief, I believe you, she said it was a six week breakup. He has went out in at least eight the butt of one person that we know and we don't know if there's been many more so i i don't know tamar it seems like you know something is definitely going on with you because i wouldn't want him i wouldn't give a damn how sorry he is the fact that in a six week period if this is what you're out doing baby we don't need to be together because you know, that's that's a little bit too much. I mean, and the fact that Tommy said he ate it and then they didn't even do anything else. So it's just like you just out licking and eating people's butts. So um, it seems like Jr. will do anything for clout, anything, including, you know, serenading her with this ring, putting it on social media so we can stop talking about that. You know, he's out licking and eating any butt that he can find. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um, frankly, <laughs> I'm sick of these two as well. Um, we're going into 2024 and hopefully we don't have to hear from these two slow people, um, Tamar and her fiance. Just make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you have not already, make sure you enable the bell notification so you do not miss out on a video. And as always, continue to let me know what you guys think in the comments.